this studio and I came to the serious, serious studios here in Hollywood. And it's pretty cool. Behind me, the bass is gonna play like uh, between four and six songs. The bass is gonna, they're gonna give like an interview. It's gonna be pretty cool, I guess. So, let me walk around with you guys. We have something upstairs too, that's where they're gonna give the interview and we're gonna try to go there. So they went over and topped him because Dop lives out in Tennessee where we do. And uh, it was interesting. Um, I saw Paul walk up, and, and Paul and I had become friends. And, and um, I, I, I went over to him and I said, Hey, I saw your art. Um, and uh, he goes, Oh, yeah. I had, uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, yo, 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 all right, so let's do, um, let's do this first, um, let's do a fucking awesome band ID. Yeah. Uh, let's do, whoever wants to start, say your name, um, you don't have to say this is, just, you know, the first person says this is, maybe, but everybody else, just say your name, and then... Dave Mustaine, Kiko Guerrero, and we're from Megadeth. Did you do something a little different over the last two years? Uh, Lomenzo. Old hobby, photography, carry a camera everywhere I go these days, but I also got to try my uh, 
my hand, my body, my neck, my back at some jujitsu with the guys, and that was pretty exciting. I'd never done that before. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I'm going to get into that in a second here with Dave. Uh, Dirk, what about you? What'd you get into? Well, um, <clears throat> I've been a drum teacher for many years, and the pandemic was actually a perfect time to kind of expand on that. I had my students online all across the, the planet, you know, different countries, so that was a great Where time. can people find out more information to get a drum lesson from you, Dirk? You can go to DirkVerburen.com, and it's all there. Hell yeah. And uh, Kiko, what about you besides taking care of your kids? Well, what yeah, else are you doing? You know, taking care of the kids and uh, jujitsu as well. Oh. You know, we started, uh, you know, Dave was inspiring us doing that and doing the last tour, right? Uh, last year. And it's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Well, um, yeah, it's very tough on the body in the beginning, but then you, you, you'll learn the your way out. I love it. Look at look at you, Dave. Yeah, see, like, <laughs> Inspiring your brothers here at Megadeth to do some jujitsu, man. I know we have Professor Reggie here hanging out. What's up, yeah, Reggie? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I know, Dave, I mean, this has been something that you've been doing for some time now. Didn't you recently get a, a new belt? Uh, I got my, my second stripe on the purple belt. Second stripe on your purple belt. So how, how, did, how, is, it, um, how is this working for you, all the jujitsu that you do? On the road and off the road. You know, it, it's just it's relative. Uh, you know, I feel great. Um, you know, I'm, I'm playing great. I'm, I'm happily married. I think everything's going great with the band. We get along great. We're all playing really well. Um, uh, do I attribute that to jujitsu partially? Yeah. Um, flexibility and, and training, uh, balance, um, diet rest all that stuff comes you know when i woke up this morning it felt like someone had been literally pulled the bones out of both of my legs because we had such a brutal leg workout yesterday yeah but you know what awesome <laughs> it's just the pain just goes somewhere yeah i'm lucky yeah. you <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's good that, that good soreness after working out Fuck yeah i love that yeah, stuff good. man yeah, uh, so let, let's uh, let's come back with Megadeth here. We're doing a cool takeover of Sirius XM Liquid Metal and playing songs off the brand new album, The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead, out there now through Tradecraft and Universal. Let's go into this song called Night Stalkers. More with Megadeth after this. All right, one more fun. Oh, <laughs> 